hey guys welcome back to another video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a responsive image gallery using html css and also javascript so here is the project that we're going to create it so it is fully responsive first i'm going to show you the all of the images right and when you click on that i'm able to see the images appeared in the light box i'm able to change that I'm able to uh, display another image with uh, the title and number of the images and I'm able to close that. It is fully responsive right now as you can see in the small screen size. When you will hit the small screen size right now as you can see. So let me tell you how you can clear that. I open my code editor inside the here index.html style.css file and also I have images many images so so let's get it started to write the code step number one uh, gallery in gallery container start and this will be closed I will write the class image in gallery. Inside there, I'm going to add the div. And then, image img. This is a path. And image one. So, and this is our first image. So, I need to get that and paste second time, third time, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16. Uh, I don't know, but I will use that's image, right? So, we need to change the image names 7, 8, 9, not 9. At 9, 10, and this will be 11, 12, and 12, 13, I think, yes, 12, we'll close that. Then I need to add the classes, which image I want to display in the vertical and which image I will uh, display the horizontal. So the second one I will use that will be class V underscore img right and the next one i'm gonna add that will be this one class this will be h image means horizontal image so i'm gonna change that with the help of css and the next one i'm gonna add that will be there uh, l image means large image and then i'm gonna select the H image and uh, this will be V image means vertical image and then I will add that yeah in there V image right so those are the images so we're gonna check out inside our browser and our images are ready now as you can see all of the images so let's write the CSS code to manage it. Padding, reset the property, and margin of the cell. Box sizing, proto box. And then I need to select the image of a gallery, main container, like this one. So the first thing is I need to assign the padding means make a space all of the sides and I'm going to use all width max width you can assign any width I'm going to add that will be 1440 pixel and then I'm going to use margin zero and auto to display the content in the center of the page I'm going to use display grid grid gap that I help us to add the gap of each image or each box and then I'm going to use grid template column or repeat auto fade auto fade min max 
the size of the uh, box 250 pixel and one FR one FR so uh, let's take it now right so everything in the center but we're gonna manage it using CSS just a minute you will see a lot of things so I'm gonna use get it um, after row will be 250 pixel and get it out of flow will be defense uh, dance so uh, let's see right cool right and the next one is a very important part but before using next I'm gonna select my images that is appeared inside the image Kelly so the first thing is you need to use display block width will be 100% height will be 100% and object fit will be color so so uh, let's see right perfect so let's talk about vertical image means v image and h image this will be vertical in the vertical i will use grid row i just uh, write span to and in the horizontal body i use h dot h underscore image and say there i need to use grid column span to so uh, let's see perfect and everything is clear on there right cool Right, then the next one is large image means vertical and horizontal image. So this will be all image. So I'm gonna use get it a row span two and get it column will be a two span two. Right, I think it should be displayed perfectly. Everything is perfect. As you can see, this is a large image, and our image gallery is ready now in the large screen size. But we need to manage it using CSS and small screen size. And the small screen size, I'm going to use media and max width, well, 560 pixel. And the 560 pixel, I need to reduce the all of the content. So get that and just use one, one, and L will be one, one. So uh, let's see in the small, right? This is the small skin size. When you will add the large skin size, it will display the all of the images. Okay. Last thing we need to add that will be a light box, right? so we're gonna use the library with the name of lightbox image gallery you need to write this one keyword inside there and you need to select the location the color like this one library select it and then you need to get that will be like there click on that and inside there you need to download the zip file and I'm gonna select my particular location uh, tutorials image gallery will be copy and I'm gonna paste on there close it I'm gonna open my particular just a minute copy and this is my light box gallery extra remove this one I don't need that and inside there you need to select district images you need to select all of the images copy that and you need to select your project images and paste on there step number one is completed step number two you need to get the css file so you need to select the lightbox.css file select your project and paste on the css file inside there last thing you need to get the js file so js file i'm gonna get that lightbox plus dot min dot jQuery. so paste on there once you add all of the files then you need to include the files inside your project so i'm gonna use css lightbox dot min dot uh, css then you need to use script uh, like this one 
once you've done that then you will use the light box inside your project but before using light box you need to use anchor link and inside the anchor link you need to select the path of the image and select the particular image like this one right once you add that then you need to add the attribute data light box and assign the value will be a road trip if you want to add the title you can use title assign the title name like one mhr something like that inside the anchor link you need to get this one image and paste on there in just a minute and comment that and then open the browser and click on this one image right now i'm able to see the images appear with a title with close button right so you need to use this main method to add the images inside the anchor link so i'm going to get that based on there so just uh, change the image name and change the title one by one so we don't need this one and okay uh, what happened on there will be yeah so this is the image appeared inside there yes I need to remove this one and we need to use same thing in the second one so this is a uh, image so this will be image one yeah one this will be image two image two and we need to remove this one right uh image two and this will be image three we need to get anchor link based on there and change the image three and this will be image three remove this one and then paste okay just a moment i need to get that and paste on there this will be four four and image four and uh, this will be four and this will be five if you want to change the text you can use that otherwise leave it so i don't need this one so in a minute i will change all of the images then i will show you on the page right now guys i have uh, stored all of the images name inside my each section so everything is clear and I also changed the name of the titles so we're gonna check that inside the browser so first we're gonna refer that and this is our all of the images right now as you can see so when I click any image I'm able to see the light box the particular text this is the title and out of the images total images have a 14 and this is the first one image right now uh, I can change the image I can I use previous button to uh, display the previous image and it is fully responsive I'm going to show you in a minute right now when I click on the image like this one uh, I like this one right so this is the oh, image gallery so I hope you are understood as well all about how you can create a responsive image gallery with Lightbox. So thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.